Hi, it's Chris, also known as the Alter Ego for ScrunchableCadaver.com uh, and I'm here to present a, a filler vid video series. As you may have been aware, Ant's been doing the Indie Delvings series for, for a while now where he provides you with the um, with cool new games that, that are about there, etc. And uh, I looked at the site and thought, do you know what we're missing? Some more goddamn PC content. Which is kind of what most of us are anyway. Um, all this talk of iOS, etc., is dragging us away from the things that we know and love. So, I, like yourself, probably uh, have a ton, a ton, metric ton, a uh, shit ton, a lot of indie games that have picked up in indie bundles over the years and uh, promotions, freebies, giveaways, anything of, of that sort. And as we've got the Steam sales on at the moment, it's, it's, it's dawned on me that. You know, there are places that I go that I go to like when the game comes on sale. There's an indie bundle comes on sale. I, I go and look on YouTube, etc., uh, and look for you know some semblance of what the game is. Is it worth picking up? Is it is it worth um, investing my time in? More importantly, so what I thought I'd do is do uh, a bit of an A to Z with the indie delvings and fill in the gaps in uh, our indie delvings series. So. I would start alphabetically and work my way through my Steam list and, as an as a exercise for myself, play all these games. Um, I won't say the completion, but I'll certainly give get an idea of, of what these games are. So, if you look at your own Steam list and press pause in the video, right? What's the first game on your list? In your indie? Of your indie games? Maybe not of your... Uh, your mainstream games, but uh, I have mine categorised as what I call indie games, which are outside of uh, major publishers. I might fall a bit outside this with regards to my, uh, my final list, but what I consider to be indie. What's your first one? My first one's a game called Ares, or Ares, uh, Extinction Agenda, uh, and it's developed by a Thai independent developer called the Extend Studio. Uh, it's been out for uh, many, many years now. Two years, in fact. Uh, December 14th, 2010, according to Wikipedia. It's great. So what is Ari's Extinction Agenda? It is Basic Contra, uh, the old Konami classic. Uh, it's a two and a half D side-scrolling shooter, except this one is more twin-stick. So rather than being able to fire directly up, down, right, left, and on the day, well, I don't know if you could control one and fire in a diagonal. I don't think you could. Uh, up, down, left, right. Uh, you can you can use the analog stick or the uh, mouse prompt to fire in a 360 radius, which is quite good. Uh, but many of the tropes are exactly the same. Um, you go through. There's a bit of a story that you have to go through. Uh, you collect weapon or you collect uh, weapon upgrades. Uh, you pick up collectibles. Um, and you pick up these fragments which you use to upgrade. So there's an upgrade in, I suppose it's a rudimentary crafting system, uh, where you pick up these three sets of crystals um, of three colours, and you need varying amounts to do various things within the crafting system. So at the start of the game you can upgrade your weapon if you have a certain amount of crystals, or you can buy what are called repair kits, um, which are basically health packs. Uh, because you're a wee robot, basically more than anything else, you're a man in a in a in a suit, so to speak. And um, yeah, um, this is the game. Um, I'm not going to play the first level to you because there's an awful lot of tutorial stuff in it, etc. Um, but if it follows many of the same tropes, you shoot down enemies, varying types, you fight a boss battle at the end, there's many bosses in the middle of it, um, and you go, go ahead through the system. So, I should point out that I am playing this with a 360 controller, so there's me shooting in my 360 radius, wow, and there I am, the Santa's dude or whatever, in the suit, um, I can do crouch roll, so I can use, <gasps> I can switch an EMP grenade, it tells me. Oh, so. Hmm. Ah, oh, there we go. So, I get a more familiar scene here where I'm blasting the shit out of stuff. So, as you can see up the top are my 
those crystals or whatever parts, yellow, blue and red, which I can use for upgrading. Um, and when I get enough of them, as soon as this uh, screen goes dead, it's, every now and again you'll get these screens where uh, there's constantly respawning enemies. And you basically work out the pattern. Hmm. Why? What's that? Well, I'll click on this. You've clicked the data cube, which unlocks valuable game content. Yes! Now, the data cube blue unlocks character a throw, while the power cube red unlocks additional power up. So, I've seen one of these in the last level that I couldn't quite get to. I couldn't quite time the jump. Uh, I'm thinking I probably need the upgrade or something to, to be able to get it and go through it in the second playthrough, is what I'm thinking. Because I think this strikes me as with the upgrade system and the upgrade path, etc., it seems like a new game plus or a, a Metroidvania kind of. Maybe not strictly Metroidvania, in that you go back to the areas, but when you go back and play through multiple times, you should have uh, different parts. I don't know that for certain, because I've been playing it for very, very long. Uh, data power cubes are permanently stored in your database. To access them, open the recycle menu, commonly located on the back button. And when recycling menu, push right shoulder to access the database. Okay. So, these are collected data and power cubes. Uh, character information and the list will be described here. Oh, so I can jump back through to the stage selects at any time as well. Um, right, but that's quite, uh, kind of backs up just what I've been saying, Metroidvania style. I can go back and collect some of these things, etc. Um, I'll go back to the, the database. Uh, Santos himself, the e e chairman. Uh, Brilliant, I get an energy increase of 10. Boop, boop. And I can go back. Okay, so I'll take you into the crafting system here. So along the top you can see the yellow, blue and red. Could be wrong. Slightly colorblind. Me, 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 me. Uh, where I can use these to basically buy certain things. So I can make a repair kit for 20 yellow, 50 blue and 20 red. I can grenades, grenades, etc. Um, I can upgrade my weapons. Uh, for 150 yellow, 200 blue, and 150 red, um, I can upgrade my Z Zitron Blaster to level 2 uh, from a level 1, um, which does 20 damage. Um, and then I have my abilities, uh, and it shows me it's basically my controls. So, I think at the moment I'm, I'm trying to get myself enough gear together to get uh, this level to upgrade. Uh, I might need this by a repair kit at some stage, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Can I blast this? I can't. Oh. So where's the enemy type? They're catching me out. Oh, the thought out there. Need to keep an eye on my health, etc. I keep on thinking you can jump higher than, than you can. I suppose it's just getting used to the controls, etc. Of uh, so, if I do this right... Hmm, balls that up. Hmm, let's see... Hopefully we'll get to... Uh, bossy type of events soon so you can see me dying. Like there. I mean there's not much else I can do to get up there. 
that's another new thing which I haven't seen so I, I can only imagine that I can get that at, a, at another stage so this is back to the previous screen I was in Ooh! So steam achievements in this as well. Great, where's the emergency? So I don't know what that steam achievement was. Is that be hidden area or something? Is it safe? Uh, oh, it's restored to my health. This is exactly what it's done. Sorry, me. Um, checkpoint reached. As I continue to blow the shit out of stuff. Crap out of that one, I'll dodge in there. So I can't get that way at the moment, it would seem. Yeah, we're getting near the stage where we can uh, upgrade this weapon. This is how we did We're only about 10 points away. Go to upgrade. Confirm my upgrade. Yes. So let's just see. I have a level two Zitron blaster now. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed in how it looks, etc. But uh, they dealt with that. He was a little mini boss last stage. So another checkpoint reached. I'll show you one other ability that you have. You have a thing called the Valkyr Cannon, etc. Which does... I can't wait till we get the tip as you mean. Let's see. So I'll hit it now. So what it does, it's supposed to destroy all the enemies on screen. Oh. Destroy moment. Alright, transmission. So there's an operation. Apparent. According to Dr. Carson's report, Zitron binds to the host wiring, infecting them from the inside out. I found her read find this record in this case. So, it's ghost machine stuff. New weapon acquired. Boop boop! Just as if I upgraded the other one. I've acquired the list SMG. So I can. Uh, I believe there's other suits, etc., that you can pick up and that, that kind of stuff uh, with them as well. So I think it's certainly meant to be replayed. Uh, who doesn't love lasers? Laser, freaking laser beams! Um, I take it for a minute to go down. Look at that, that's gorgeous. So I'm going to need to invest in a repair kit. Like so. So if I, this is little area, or if I make some of these, uh, I, 
can blow up canisters. And get through to this area here. Or I can pick up one of these little bits here. Um, what have I unlocked? What have I unlocked? I got your dude. Oh, there it is there. Uh, energy turret. Mm. It doesn't seem like I get a boost of 40 HP. Ah, oh, who knows. Oh, I got one of those data cores or whatever. Yeah. So as you can see, I mean it's fairly simple, you've got enough here at the start to warrant just coasting through the start of the game. So what happens in death? Do I go back to the start of the level, but keep my progress? Oh, I'll go back to the checkpoint, don't I? So what did I get? I got a Valkyr sh shield. Can't upgrade that. death down there. Hmm. I'm a bit stuck. Where do I go? Little bastard. I can't imagine that it wants me to go that way. Again, I didn't see anything else that way. Let's see if I get myself another grenade. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, there was nothing here, but... They must want me to go... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> they must want me to go up. So I'll watch that once more, and then we'll call it. Um. Oh, I know. Oh, silly me.
So, to be fair, that was the first environmental puzzle that there was to it. Um, that there has been in the game, should I say, sorry. Um, yeah, I mean... That tricky little bastard. Uh, is there anything else to say about the game? Um, maybe when I get further on more, in it, more into it, I'll, uh, I'll be able to say more about it. But um, for the moment. Uh, I need a repair kit. For the moment, uh, it is pretty much was what it is. There's a story runs through it, etc., etc. Um, as you can see, it's the the ghost of the machine kind of thing that's happening with it at the moment. But uh, maybe the story's absolutely fantastic. Maybe I'm doing it a right disservice. I'm going to blow the shit out of these boxes. Like that. So as you can see, you can you can farm. So I was indicate that I can go down. I'd say this is probably coming near. fight it feels like that now the first stage was definitely nowhere near as long as this although like I say it was a bit of a mm, it was a bit of a tutorial level so here's boss fight a snake you say Tells you what's going to come out here. Um, So it takes away some of the platforms for me. Hmm. Rather weird boss battle. That was slightly unfair, I would surmise. He's nearly dead. Oh, and there you go. He did. There are difficult, there are various difficulties here. Um, I'm playing it normal, not playing it easy. I have faith. These games will make it look silly sometimes, but uh, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. 
Uh, the bridge down, you'll have to jump across. Give me more deactivator. Shoots power module. Why the fuck didn't do that before this game? Oh, here from the trend just to. Uh, Charge up your grenade to perform this boost attack. Mm. No, I'm not getting it. <laughs> I think this is where we leave it while I try and figure out how the fuck you do this. <laughs> the stage cleared. So that is Ari's Extinction Agenda. Uh, depends if you've much love for the Contra series, I suppose. Um, it, as you can see, I get a rank at the end. <coughs> a D. And a total score, which goes on leaderboards, etc. Um, yeah, so it depends if you've much love for Contra. It's a fun little blast game. Uh, a half an hour, hour here, there and everywhere. Um, platformer um, more story coming but um, yeah uh, not worth a great deal of money certainly seven pound not seven pounds worth in the current climate I don't think unless you're a big big fan of these um, but we'll uh, see how you go um, and join me next time for our indie delvings A to Z you can try and guess what game is going to be next uh, looking at your own list and looking at the list of any games that there are, maybe in Steam, etc. Because, uh, like I say, I have a lot of them. Um, and uh, it's, it's been quite fun to go through and play this. I'm actually going to keep playing this. I actually think this is a, a decent little game. Um, for the moment, and I'm going to I'm gonna play through. I'm going to see if I can clear these five stages at least and then get a, an idea of, uh, of where we're at, etc. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you next time.